Hello everyone, welcome back to Superliminal. Right where we left off, I have six alarms for some reason. I don't notice any other change, but I suspect there's going to be more down the road. There's no more tape here. That part's always the same. Do I need the door? <laughs> How much does it go to? Okay, this that. What? Uh... What the hell is happening? My dream's falling apart. Was there a path here? Okay, I can still pick this up. Does the music have to do anything with that? This becomes smaller and smaller. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I have to go over that. Right, okay. There we go. Is that the sky? Huh. You thought. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh. Oh, that's going to be very annoying. Oh god. I'm sorry for all the viewers who had to listen to that. What? My cursor changed to into a smiley. My reticle is now a smiley. And now it's back. What? Why was it a smiley then? What? Okay. Ah, I need to move this apple. There we go. Yes. Yes. Come on. Are you serious? 
Yes. I just, how do I drop it on top of this? It's like that. There we go. Let me go back. So I'm guessing the wind pushes me away and I can't reach the stairs. No, I can't. What? Ah. I guess nothing happens to me, but... Oh right, I can't pick up objects. So I gotta like wait over here. Oh no. Oh no. No. Okay, so I gotta... This is gonna take some time. Need it as big as this. Can I push it with my body? Oh yeah, kind of. No, I'm not. Wait a minute, am I doing this wrong? Let's try something here. Yes! I thought so. Haha. <laughs> Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Okay. So my sculpt. Gallery. I guess I need you to fall over here. Oh no, that doesn't work. Uh, maybe at this angle? Oh, but this is too small. Damn it. Let's make do with this. Uh, uh, there we go. I turn all that. Okay, what is this? Cloud insert. Wait, have I seen this? I've seen this before. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. My introductions are redundant. <laughs> I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Hmm. Hello. 
Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. <laughs> Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. <laughs> look good. What if I forget to set the alarm? Do eight beep beep beep. And we're back. What is it now? 7 a.m. Uh, that doesn't look right. Suit F. That's where I'm supposed to be, but now I'm in suit D. I guess we're going to the relaxation room. Just on loop. I guess people can view it from the outside as well, huh? About us, our mission. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. I'm in suit A now. And we're back here. All this is always the same. Whoa. What is this? To enter this, oh my god. Fragile, will it break? Doesn't break. Oh, wait, that is that is way too huge. Oh, let's reduce the size a little bit there. There you go. Am I okay? I'm just right. Oh no. Oh no, I'm too big. I'm too big. I am too big. I need you a little bit bigger, right there. Right, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger, right there. Ah, perfect. Hopefully that works. Yep, looks like it did. I just gotta. What? Oh, it's glitching. Okay. Oh, what? It's a loop. Wait, what? Wait, K471C. K471C, okay, it's the same. But I can change the entrance. Now the entrance is changed. Now what? Oh, the exit's here. I need to make it. I need to. Oh, fuck. Okay. I need to make this way bigger now. Wait. I can just grab you here and do that. Oh, that is huge. Okay, did that work? Oh my god, that is so far. Yes, I 
Yes, it worked. God damn it. If somebody comes out of the TV, TV I'm running. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message Bruh. in error. Will I die? No, I won't. What the? Is that Jenga? Oh no, it's Jenga. Again. Become very tiny. There we go. Jenga fell. Oh. Damn. Caution wet. Uh, where do I go? Is there a door somewhere? Clock? Anything? How did you end up being upright? That is my question. What the? What the? Whoa. Okay. That is trippy. Whoa. What the? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Makes absolutely sense. Like, I'm depressed. Ah, oh, just stop being sad. Wait, does that part show up there? No. I need to get in here. You. Dumb. Oh no, why did it become smaller? Here first, and then do that. Oh, 
How did I do it that time? huge you can climb this bro what is this shit I guess I'm above now to set it up first before coming through Calm, everybody calm. Calm down, calm down. We're all friends here. Oh, there we go. Damn it. Let's get you a little bit bigger. Okay, that may have been too big. That's too small. Doing it from the wrong end. Where is the door? There's the door. Keep that there. I think this works. Maybe I need to put it right there. Wait, I need to get up there first. I think it's getting bigger than that. Okay, that is pretty huge. Now I need it to land right there. I'll just try this. Oh, that became very small. 
Wait, can I loop it inside this? What happens now? Oh, I can't, I can't take it through this. It's within itself. Haha. <laughs> Okay, that should be huge, right? No? How do I make it huge? That is not huge. Okay, actually, I, I clearly I have to do something. Wait a minute, I can just, I can just leave it on top of that. There it is. Oh god. There it is. That should work. What is this shit? There we go. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn <laughs> Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Okay, great. Whoa, what the? Did I just come out of this one? Oh, I did. I'm inside a box with a keyhole. And these two are linked. One is small and one is big. This makes me come out of the small one. So I can get smaller and smaller. Right. So wait. Can I just make both of them the same size? Oh god, it's so slow. Oh my god, holy shit, okay. Holy fuck, okay. I'm gonna be huge. I'm gonna enter this, I'm gonna be freaking huge. Oh god. Game's breaking. Oh no, wait, I become smaller. Right, I need to enter this one. Ugh. Wait, what's happening? Okay, that made me big. One second. Just had something to do. I am back. Now, I need to get up there. I need to become bigger. If I enter this, am I, I am bigger now. So now let's increase this one. And become bigger on that end. Ah, yes. Oh, God. I don't suppose you become any bigger. It may be, maybe shrink down a little bit. Shrink right to this level. Yes, and then you can shrink to, I guess, this level. But now I can't go through. If I change to this height, I can keep becoming smaller. Wait, what? How did? How did that space increase?
I place you side by side, but if I go through it just like okay there it is. Oh, I'm too big here. Maybe if I keep you like this, right on top of this, and I go through that. There we go. Whoa! There's a house over there. But what's over here? Let's go. Whoa! I am so tiny. Holy shit. Okay, that's too high. Maybe, maybe at this level. Yeah, I think this works. Oh, yeah. Much better. Five to six dreams is the absolute. Volume of a cuboid, long volume. Function overloading. Volume of a cube. What's the emergency protocol to the emergency protocol? I don't know, man. You tell me. Meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association. Oh, the loading bar. <laughs> Fills upwards. What are we at? at it, it's 3 a.m. again? That's different. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Oh Please no. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10. Oh no. 9. 8. Error. Oh. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Oh, there's blood again. Paint or blood, whatever it Error is. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. <laughs> Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Yeah. Reformulating. <laughs> Conclusion impossible. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. What? Wake up, wake up, wake Instruction. up. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. What the? Oh! Huh? What? Uh oh. What's happening? Oh god. Whoa. What? I'm on the wrong orientation. I started off like this, I went forward and I went like this. 
Oh, that's that's a really nice touch. It's making me look up. But it thinks it's forward at this height. So I press forward and I went down and then I realized I'm on this level. Ah, <sighs> okay, now where else to go? Let's go. Wait, what? Oh! What the fuck? Okay, that's gone now. What the? Aha! That's why the ceiling is high up there. There we go. Wait, what? That becomes smaller. That becomes extra small. Ah, oh, that's how you make it big. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Am I in a loop? No. Oh, what the? Oh! Okay, orientation change. Oh, God. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. That was a nice trick to force you into that perspective to make you fall without seeing. Oh. Very clever. Uh, I need you right there. Let's go. Oh, what the? Oh, God. I can pick up any object now. Oh no.
perception is not reality. I'm in a loop. Wait, what? What? How did? What? Huh? Oh, uh, okay. Pointing me this way. Okay, that's wrong. Oh, I gotta do it. Oh. How did I, how did I change it? What did I do to change it? I go back. No. I got it just now, how did I do it? Okay, I can't interact with anything. my face in here and then I looked there and then it was done. How do I Am I supposed to go back no it can't be go backwards. I just did it. How did I do it? Oh, how did I do it? How did I do it? Perception is not reality. Am I supposed to like... It's not, it's not about jumping. I, I did it. It said hall 2 that... Oh wait, what? How? I need to know what triggers it. Hallway 1. Okay, it's fixed now. That's correct. How do I make it switch? You can see the room up here turn blue when I'm in the corner. Right there, it's blue. Yeah, textures are gone. And that's gone. Can I hear that buzzer. I'm guessing it'll be yeah, it's this is fixed now for some reason. Are you lucid dreaming? Please head to the exit to wake up. How to start it? Is that is it written here? Maybe just use Butler. But want to appear personable? Hi, I'm Dr. Pearson. You just started your somatic therapy session. 
Hey Glenn here, welcome to the first ever Soma Sculpture. Welcome to the future, my name is Dr. Fierce. Greetings traveler, open your eyes, open your eyes, okay. Dream Diary. Always wish one. I wish I could zoom in because it's kind of hard to see. What does that say? I can't read that. Symbolic meaning and brain wave. Perception is not reality. Is that a hint? This is correct. This is wrong. Perception is not reality. Seems pretty real to me. Okay, that's wrong. How oh, is this on the left now? Nothing I can interact with. Oh, what? How? I am still so confused. If I go through this, I'm gonna start from one. Yep. And it's gone. Wait, what? Is it that? I don't... I, I, I'm so confused.
first hall is correct but that's wrong and I don't know how to change it how do I change it and now it's on the right what Wait, is it whichever side I look for is a dead end? Oh! No way! Wow! Yes! What the? Oh, what the? Uh... While we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. What is that? What the? I can't climb this, really? What the? Oh my god, this is... Uh, that makes me go down. I'm guessing it'll be the same on the other side. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh my god. There's an alarm in there. Okay, I have to go through this. I'm gonna turn off the alarm and I'm gonna teleport somewhere else. Yep, what the? Perception is reality now. How long can I go? Oh They're just oh, okay Listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. 
I'm not ready to teleport yet. I want to explore. How far does the back wall go? That's it. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. Let's teleport. What the? Yo. Oh, that's trippy. What the fuck? Oh! It's gone. Dude, this game is giving me goosebumps so many times. Oh, that's a wall. Wait, what? They're not all wall though. Oh wait, what? Oh, it... It just shifted. Oh, everything's gonna change into a wall now. Yeah, this is also gonna turn into a wall soon. Yep, there it is. Oh my god. Dreams really be like this in real life, huh? Oh no, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm gonna turn... Oh god, okay, how do I... I can't... Uh... Oh, there... Oh, what the fuck? Am I awake? Nope. You can hear music this on the other side. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonnasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Paradox Behavior 101. What the? Remember, reminder, call jungles management. Music too dang loud. Scent of burnt curry. Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Ryzen Medical for an incre increased canister order frequency. Am I carrying myself? Yep. Yep. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. That's the entrance, isn't it? Yep. So now I can take this. Oh! Yes! What the? It's gone. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. Obey result. Please paradox overload. Not an exit? I believe you. Wait, what? Are there stuff outside? Oh. Is this infinite?
It's not. Wait, is it? What the? What is it? What the? What? Uh, I didn't even realize there was no walls in here. When did the walls disappear? There were walls before, I know. There, there were walls for sure. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, I'm going upstairs. Oh! Oh god. I can grab it. What? Oh, it's a cube. Oh, I can take it with me. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Holy shit. Erase me, relaxient, minerals, female toads, what the, oh man. There's gonna be some non-Euclidean shit I know. It said not an exit right there, if I go around. Still not an exit. Still not an exit. Anything to find? Oh! Wow, that is just brilliant. Okay, I can just go backwards I guess. Can I go backwards this way? Okay. I'm back on the other side, the white space. I was there before, but I'm here now. Whoa. What the? Aww. It's out of bounds.
It's got no volume, but what? Now it has volume. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. I'm on the white side now. Ah, oh, that is what I saw in the windows before. Come on. It's right there. I definitely need to get up there. How do I get up there? Can you not rotate down, please? Can I just climb this? Oh, there's just a switch there. Oh my god. Oh, am I supposed to take this? Wow.
Not again. Which will be blue and red or red and yellow? What the? Oh my god! And there's another. Wow! Is there four paths to choose from? Or just three? Just three, okay. Okay, I feel like... Okay, people might choose between those two, but this feels like it's purposely hidden. So I have to go for this one. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Whoa. It's a king. Pawns. Whoa! That is so trippy. What the? Oh man! I guess I go on the whites. Nope. Ah, oh, that is a check. Wait. Does that even work? this I have to go here and then pick that up put this here pick that up put it here pick that up put it here pick that up put it there pick that up put it there I don't know there we go what in the world Um, I lost the box. Okay.
It's so white, I can't tell. But I lost the box. Uh, Dev, I lost the box. Can you... Can you give me some help here? I can't even see the edge. Okay, I'm just gonna reset because I lost the box. Yeah, there it is. Ah. There we go. Can go bigger. Right there. Oh, my God. Down we go. Forever and ever. Huh, not forever. Whoa! Okay, that's my perspective. Oof, okay. Talk about taking acid. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 7.59 a.m. It's 8 a.m. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Your life will always be a struggle, a 
and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real, so how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. Oh my god. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Wow. What a game. I knew it was good when I saw it. It's good, yep. Wow, what a game. What a game. Well done. Well, that was short-lived, but it was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.